Hello my friends and welcome. Today I will show you how to install new lift bolts for a 2ZZG 2001 engine on a Toyota Corolla without having to remove these two cams. Um, I won't be doing it live because I've already done it but it is I can you can do it without having to remove the two cams depending on your circumstances. Here we have the motor and here we have on the side here quite a bit of space. I had to remove the battery that was here, the airbox, the rocker cover and the cover that controls um, that has all the oil flow sensors and so not oil flow sensors, the oil filter and the two tubes that feed oil, pressurized oil down to the um, the cams to engage the variable valve lift. Um, so what I did here, so first of all you obviously remove all of this to get yourself plenty of room and working space, disconnect the battery, you, um, you basically just get a mu as much space as you feel comfortable working with. So here's the engine, cover parts that you also need that have like obviously your air intakes and that forms like that because you don't want any stuff getting in there. I've obviously taken some stuff out since I've finished. Um, so I'll show you the inside of the parts that you do need to have to re achieve this. Here we have is a few, all the parts that I used to achieve this. Is a two millimeter drill bit. Heavy duty as well, it's got to be cobalt, high carbon steel, hard steel and for cast iron as well. Specifically a metal drill bit because you're drilling into metal. So it will um, last very long and also not get blunt, is what you really don't want. That's the drill bit there. So it's a bit of a different colour. And you'll need to drill about maybe 5 millimetres down into the bit and there's evidence that you don't need to take the cams off. I was actually quite lucky the bolt broke with a bit of thread on it so it was stuck in there so I was able to get the socket extractor out. Here's the evidence of the old lift bolts that weren't revised since this is a 2001 engine model. That's the exhaust side and this is the intake side snapped in half completely. And you need a number one easy out screw extractor. Two millimeter drill bit requires M4, M5 bolts, or doesn't really matter, it's just whatever fits in, which is this one. And that's the evidence there. These two pieces of metal are chopped in half, <coughs> a split pin, which is here. Split pin set. This set is used for centering the drill bit oh, okay, it's a little bit sunny centering the drill bit into the um, hole where you need to drill into so once you've drilled that then you put your socket extractor and pull it out if you're lucky this is a magnet here telescoping one that you can use to basically get all the oil filings out because you'll be making metal filings inside there I used an air compressor as well to blow them out of that hole to make my workspace clean um, and also cover areas that you need to while you're doing that so you don't get metal swarf everywhere. These are the part numbers here and I bought these from direct from Toyota. Uh, quite cheap in New Zealand, depend, I don't know where you live but this was about $12 shipped down to my nearest dealership. So, and those were the revised the old ones. This ones are much you will see those online if you look them up. So that's how it's done there. The tools that you need, I'm um, in the description as well. Uh, make sure you're drilling straight, center, uh, and I wish you the best of luck. <laughs> Many thanks. Oh, just before I go, this socket extractor here, uh, also by the auto uh, So yeah, you'll need this one. So what I in my situation, this is the hole to the index valve lift lubrication. The actual tube 
I can show you just there. For me, that had actually turned. Since the bolt broke in half, it had turned due to engine vibration. These should turn quite freely inside. I don't know if I can... Ah, oh, there we go, that's a bit better. You can see that there's a hole there. Right in there. And you put your socket extractor inside and turn it only because it's a left hand. And once it bites, it actually ends the pipe. And then you can find your broken bit. If it's because once you take the bolt out and you just see a nice metal surface, not rugged, that means, and obviously some common sense, that the bolt has broken and the tube has turned. So you'll need to turn the tube all the way up, centering this, so you can see it perfectly and, then accessible, and so it's accessible to take the remains of the bolt out. If a little bit of bolt is broken into, I'm afraid you may be able to get it out with a magnet or you just cams off but in my situation as you can see if you have a bolt like that that's broken in half you can get it out with a socket extractor so this is why i didn't want to take the cams off this engine is all in this bay once you take these cams off if that timing chain falls you're in trouble because that is on the bottom gear so yes make sure yeah you put the socket extractor into that hole there to get it out and to turn it as well if you need but yeah you will need to have this off anyway any questions or if i've missed something that you need answered just post it in the comments and i'm sure i can try and help you out as best as i can anyway many thanks have a good one and good luck